Well, hello there, Internet. Inspector Barry here uh, with another installment of Never Have I Ever Played. Um, I'm by far the, the coolest person in Polygon Media and the best looking, uh, and also, you know, the most drunk half the time. Um, and uh, what did I play that I've never really played before? Um, I played uh, For Honor, because when it first came out, I could never really play it due to the internet I having. Me having uh, couldn't let me connect to Ubisoft servers for some reason, so I never really was motivated to play. Um, I think that's when I was in uni as well, so I was also you know busy drinking and you know clubbing. <laughs> now, from what I can tell about this, this story, is there's three either viewpoints or segments of different not races, um, cultural armies. And uh, there was the J Japanese, Norse, and knights, so European, I guess. I started with the European because I'm European, <laughs> living in Spain. Um, but usually I would go straight for Viking because Norse mythology and history is very much an interest of mine. Um, now what prompted me to play this game? Um, well, we kind of did a versus uh, on it. I don't know if, you, if you've watched that, then you'll see that I carried everyone. I flawlessly beat everyone down. Um, and I was so good at it that I looked bad to the others. So um, I then, you know, thought, fuck it. Why not try the campaign and see if I enjoy it? Um, and I can tell you... I definitely did enjoy it. Lots of is lots of button mashing, really. LB uh, no wait, RB and RT for your heavy and light attacks. Uh, the executions are cool. I'll give it that. That was rather fun to watch and do. Uh, the loading time could be a bit better. But you no, know, the the graphic like from what I saw like story wise is like you're a mercenary. Um, fighting in some sort of keep. This is all from the European standpoint. Fighting for a keep and then you get recruited after a trial by combat. And I instantly knew what that was because I'd seen Game of Thrones and Merlin and stuff like that. So I knew that you know, I had to win. Otherwise I would you know, be dead. As you know, most games nowadays. <laughs> the gameplay I found rather... It was odd. It took me a second to... Well, not a second. It took me a good, like, ten minutes to actually grasp the full... Probably not even the full control set. There's lots of, sort of, probably small things that I've missed or haven't noticed yet. But from the most part, it was easy enough to grasp. It does give you quite a in-depth tutorial. Which, you know, I, I read every word of it, clearly. Um... As for, like, the uh, AI fairness, or, I guess, difficulty, I can definitely say that they're quite rapid with their movements, but I'm assuming in PvP it's even worse, so it's going to take me a while to actually get used to that. Um, but yeah. But what, I, what I can tell from the story so far is that you know, the mercenary gets knighted and hired by someone who's cooler and stronger. Um, and I'm guessing it's his journey through the world, I'm assuming. Probably the, well, maybe not the world, but through the linear story that's evident. Um, would I... I don't know if I'll go back to it. So I probably will just to get the achievements and stuff because I'm a bit of an achievement whore. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it reminds me of like a hack and slash sort of thing. So I mean, I'm, I'm, I might go back to it at some point. Maybe not anytime soon. Um, but it, it, you know, for the short period of time I was uh, playing it, I did find joy. Oh, my dog just came into the room. Um, Valor and battle. Will I, Honor and service. 
I would play similar games, maybe more up-to-date ones, because this, I don't know when this was released, I think it was 2016-ish, well, maybe, so I don't know if I'm going to go back, so, I mean, I definitely would play medieval games, like, because I have, I've played Rome Total War, Medieval Total War, Shogun, uh, Chivalry, and, you know, other ones as well, um, but I don't know if I'll come back to Fall or not. I won't. I'm definitely not coming back to the PvP. That's for sure. Story, probably yes. Just so I, you know, can get something else under my belt. Um, but I would rec. From what I can tell, I would recommend this to people if they have nothing else to do, or if they're just bored, or if they just like uh, medieval history. That I would, you know, uh, definitely recommend it for that. Um, but yeah, the PvP is, is a bit desirable, I think, because it's, it's definitely got a skill gap, but it's also, from what I can tell from the verses, it's either pay to win, or if you haven't played since its release, you are left behind and you are going to die a lot. So I mean, the PvP is very desi undesirable in my opinion. But the story seems fair, for the most part, anyway. Um, <laughs> replay... I mean, I would replay this game just to get all the achievements and stuff, and probably all the collectibles, because, you know, like I said earlier, I'm a bit of a whore. Um, but yeah, I, th I think it's got some replay value. Very in some sparing areas, but what do you end up? Oh, sorry. You. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Um. I mean, once I beat it, I'm probably not going to come back to it. Like, once I beat the story, then I'm just going to uninstall it and keep it that way because I'm not really going to play the PvP. Unless I have literally nothing else to do ever. And that would be very limited as well. Um, but overall, I did enjoy, you know, just hacking and slashing and countering and stabbing. And the executions, like I said earlier, they're, they're pretty fun. Um, the voice acting was quite good as well, actually. Because it's sort of... I don't know if you'll be able to hear this through the video, but it does sound like they're talking through, like, a metal filter like their helmet. It does. It sounded like that to me, anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I would say I enjoyed the game. It's not usually my typical genre of game, but um, for what it was, I did enjoy it. So yeah, stick that in your juice box and suck it.